We're here at Thriller Fest. What attracts you to this genre? Well, it's it's what I most love to read and it's what I most love to write. Just the mm. thrills, you know, the suspense, the questions, what's going to happen next and that sense of excitement that you have when you read it. Did you always want to be a writer or is it something you came about doing? No, I did always want to be a, a writer. Even as a child I would, you know, make little books and write little stories and that sort of thing. Um, I wanted to be a published novelist and I wasn't sure how I was going to get there but I thought, well, mm -hmm. if I just keep writing and write more and write more, eventually maybe one day I will. So it mm -hmm. did take a lot of years but I did get there. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best piece of writing advice you've ever received? Um, I think just don't give up. Um, mm -hmm. Writing is not an easy thing to do and it always feels hard. Um, and a lot of the time you'll read over what you wrote and think, this is really bad, I can't do this, but you just need to keep going because you will get better and eventually you will get published. Mm -hmm. And what, what advice do you have for aspiring writers? Um, I think just that, just, just never give up, that's the most important thing. But also mm -hmm. read a lot of books, uh, pull them apart to see how they work, how the author is making you respond in particular ways, and compare that to your own writing and, and see where you're falling short of the mark. And do you have any like, quirky rituals you need to do in order to, to write and focus? I guess my main one is that no matter what time I sit down in the morning with the grand aim of writing, I never actually produce any work till about one o'clock in the afternoon. Ah. So it's just, I, I've given up trying really. <laughs> <laughs> so you, but you still will get up and sit, sit down like in the morning and just try to start Get going. Yes, but I, mostly now I, you know, I deal with some emails, or I might write notes about the scenes that I'll be writing this afternoon. But uh, but the actual writing itself doesn't seem to kick in until about then. And what? Um, tell us about your recent book. Uh, my most recent book that came out in Australia is called Silent Fear, and it features my series character, Detective Ella Marconi, um, alongside paramedics. And all my books have paramedics in them, as it was a job that I did for a lot of mm -hmm. years. Do you have any interesting stories from when you were a paramedic? Well, one that stands out actually is um, from a time when I was working in a rural area where there were very few women paramedics. And on this particular station where I was working, there was only me and one other. And one night we were working together and we got a call late one night to a woman requiring assistance. So we headed on out to this woman's address. When we got there, we knocked on the door and she called out that she was, um, the door was open and she was upstairs. So my partner and I, we went inside and went upstairs and we found this woman lying stark naked on her bed. <laughs> now, seeing that we were both women ourselves, she sort of hastily covered herself up, said she didn't need help at all. No, she was fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun. <laughs> and um, you know, where can um, can we find you online and read more about you? What's your website? My website is katherinehowell.com and I have uh, the first chapters of each of my books there so readers oh. can have a look and see if they like what they see and then there are links to places that they can buy as well all around the world. Oh, awesome. And are you on Twitter or Facebook or anything? I'm on Facebook, yes. Katherine Howell oh. author on Facebook. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks.